Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Cities Skylines where we're here in Fool's Town. Now last episode guys, we did a lot of work to the city, we made some huge improvements and we added in our very own and very first ferry system into the sea which is pretty, pretty damn cool. Now I asked you guys a lot of questions on some of the stuff that I need to improve in the city and one of them was the fact that we keep losing water in the river and uh, everyone was saying it's down to the fact that i got these huge pumps sucking all the water at various like you know times which is causing those huge dips which completely makes sense so today then uh as well as trying to fix that issue we're gonna do a lot of other stuff as well now we're gonna build a slight new area make some progress on it i don't know if i'll be able to get everything built with inside of it because our demands are currently low at the moment but we're also going to head and build towards the next episode when we're going to eventually build our very own theme park. Which is pretty exciting. So if you guys enjoyed this and can't wait to see that future as episode 2, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Now, since last episode, we kind of changed up our two kind of uh, office -y areas. We This was originally our skyscrapers being the IT cluster, which we kind of switched it up. I didn't really want it to be that because it looked a little bit weird having skyscrapers in this area right near the airport. Uh, oh, it looks like I have some power and some water issues already. Okay, we'll take care of those in a moment. And we turn this into the IT cluster, which this one has now big skyscrapers, which looks a lot better because just across the road from it is these other big skyscrapers. So it all fits in quite nicely. Now what I'm going to do is quickly pause it for a second as we do have some power issues over here. So how are we having power issues? when we have all the power connected. Is this area not connected to like the power? Because I have a lot of power to use. So how are you not getting any power? It makes no sense whatsoever. So obviously somewhere with high power, that's all connected. So I don't know how we're having power issues over there. I really don't know. Does electricity only travel so far? I don't know. But anyway, I want to move all this. Because this is causing dips. We had a dip not long ago. You can see there's a slight dip there. Um, I had a dip not long ago. No, I think it's now disappeared, gone. So we are expecting another dip very, very soon. Now at the moment, we have all these outputs here. For the water. Now did I buy every area? Let me just double check it. Yeah, I bought every area. We have this little section over here, and this little lake, which when I check the water sources, there is one there. So we know 100% there's water source in there, so I can take water from it. So we'll move one of these, and I'm actually need some more, aren't I? And uh, we'll drop one there. Could I get away with placing them all in there? I don't think I can. I don't think that one water source will be able to replenish all the needs. I'll place the three in there for now and see how it goes. We can't be too sure, but I suppose that's going to be part of the fun, right? And I'll keep that one over here going on its own. Mm, probably not. Uh, <laughs> what, I'd, what I'd do is, because I've been thinking as well, because, let me, let me, you know what, let me cancel this. I want to try and make some progress on this new area, oh, we can't close that there. This new area over here, I've built a slight little road to kind of give us a little blueprint. And what I want to do with this is be some more industry. Now, my main thinking behind it is, yeah, it's going to be more industry, more traffic. Yeah, 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 I get it. But a lot of the traffic is mainly down to these three kind of uh, cargo harbors. So I'm thinking if I move one of those and place it on this side, uh, I link up the train down here to a cargo terminal too. Have a few more exports, so not so much traffic over here. It'll be kind of spread between two. Just a little bit of industry just there, a tiny bit there. And then the rest all commercial and residential. We'll hook it up there. We'll be pretty good, but we'll see how things go. Uh, but with that said, I kind of need to move all these. So I'm going to move them over as far as possible. I'll start on this side and see how far we can go. We are going to need some more sewage plants. Or a different type of sewage disposal. I'm not sure if I have anything different. I think I have, um, I think I got something different. Hold on. Where is it? I have these, don't I? These, um, basins that I can eventually use. That would, that would be pretty cool to add in. We should look towards doing that at some point. Have a not whole little industry area about it. That could be quite cool. 
So I'm moving these down here just for the fact that if I do need to add in any more water pumps, I could do one or two just along here and it won't get infected by the dirty water that's been produced by these treatment plants. Even though they're not creating too much pollution, you just, you just don't want to take that chance, do you? Right, water pipes in. Let's hook all these up. There we go. Good stuff. They're going to need power as well. So just for now, because they're in the area, we can drop a few of those down there to create some solar-powered wind imaging and uh, see how that goes. Right. So, oh, these guys need power too, don't they? Yes, they're going to need power too. So if I just try and hook up a few different versions of, you know, power I can drop down. And I want to see, look how much water they suck up. They do suck up a lot of water. And quite frankly, I don't think that's going to be able to replenish it quick enough. Unless I dropped in another water source. Now, if I dropped in a water source here... I say, quite frankly, I'm going to regret that, but I'm hoping. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm hoping that's fine, because that one's at that level. That one goes to that level. Yeah, as long as it doesn't overflow, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. Right, now, that will that create enough water? Because the, these are sucking up the water so bad. So if I say it's going to bring it up to about there. So that's going to pump the water now. We need to keep an eye on this because this could destroy our city very, very bad. So we will see. We will see. <laughs> it's exciting and scary at the same time. Now, why are we having such power issues? That's what I want to know. Does power not travel this far? I don't get it. I don't get it. We got some pretty beasty like uh, power plants. We do have like a Tesla Gigafactory, which does 28,000. There's a lot of power right there, guys. A lot. Wait, 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 wait. That's not connected over. <gasps> ah, it makes complete sense. Okay, I figured it out, guys. I figured out what's going down right now. Um, I don't think I feel like I want to do power lines to connect it up. So can I get away with these little... No, I can't get away with that. Oh, I can. Like that. Right, they, that should get rid of those power issues. Just wait for a second for it to catch up. Let's have a little fast forward sesh there. Right, there we go. We do have water issues, but... With that new thing we've planted in, you can see the water now rising back up. And then once it gets caught up by these machines, it will suck all the water up. So it's just one of those things. You just gotta play around with it, the levels. And just kind of see how it goes. Just kind of see how it goes. Is it going to overflow that? No, I think we're okay. Right, I think we're okay for the most part. Because we did choose it to go up to a certain level, right? Up to the... Oh my good god. Oh good god, good god, good god, good god. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a, a few more sucky suckies of the water. So we'll drop one there. One there. There. So just a few of those. We'll see how these go. This could be very bad news. Oh dear, it's going to be very bad news. Right, well, I'd do. Get rid of it. We're going to have some slight water issues now. Oh dear God, guys, what have I done? <laughs> yeah, this is not good. This is definitely not good. I've broken the game. Right, tsunami wave incoming, guys. It was nice knowing you all. But at least... At least we've got water. <laughs> oh, dear God. It's going to end up in this little ditch here. It's going to take a few of those people out. It's going to take out the whole airport, which is great. 
great stuff. And um, yeah, I kind of, I'll try and fix it once it's finished. But that doesn't seem to solve my issue. So, my issue is, it could have been that fact that I had two in there, when really we could have just got away with this one producing the water. We'll just see. That could have been the issue having two in there. It's, oh my good god. Disappear water, please just disappear. It does go, you know, the more it travels, the more it does disappear. But it's just going to really fill up in here. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. Right, that's producing the water now. The water's coming out. And hopefully that will satisfy everything. <sighs> I always find a way to mess things up, don't I? Anyway, we'll come back to that in just a second. All right, there we go. There's the next big dip. Ooh, now we don't have the water pumps in. I didn't realize how high the water comes up. Interesting. Very interesting. Right. And so now I have to, I have to place this up higher because it originally now is not working. Is that connected with the power, by the way? No. There we go. So pipes wise, let's delete this. Well, that should be all good, right? You don't realize how high your water line is until you actually physically delete all your sucky sucky pipes. Look how bad that is. Oh my god. Hopefully that's the last we'll see of this now because you can see how high the water line is up here. We have no dips on the horizon. Maybe like a little few dips there, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, what, what's what's crack lacking over here then? Are we doing good? Do we have water issues still? We don't really have water issues now. That water has now disappeared. Are we good? I feel like we're good. Okay, right. Let's get back to the to the uh, to the main thing I want to take from this then. So, I'm gonna take this one here. We're gonna move this, and we oh we need to wait for the shoreline to come back into play. Ah, oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Right, fair enough. Wait for the shoreline to come back into play, then we get an idea of where we can place down at harbour. So while we wait for that then, let's do some roads. Now, uh, what I want to do then, again, it's going to be... Like, different stuff. Where does that connect? We're going to have industry in here. If I bring this kind of down to... Damn it, Seniac, you fool! We're gonna have industry, we're gonna have commercial, we're gonna have residential. We just need demands to kind of increase, really. So I wanna create a grid. Perfect. And then what we'll do. There we go, create a nice little... Hmm, I don't really like that now. Get out of here, boy! Get out of here. Right, what we'll do, we'll do like this. And then can I create something fairly decent to connect around? Maybe. I'm not a huge fan. We'll take a wider berth at it. Right, that, that can be a lot better. Right. So then that would, of course, come down. But we won't bring it to there. I'm going to do one more. You know, do you know what? It's quite terrible, isn't it, this? So I've just created like a, a straight up line. 
We can get away with that. Then we'll just do one insert here. That's pretty much as straight as we're going to get it. So we'll add something in there. We can even drop a few more little bits. And I really don't like that. I really, really don't like this. Call me fussy or whatnot, but, you know, it's just not good, is it? Right, let me take off the snapping grid there. We'll create something ourselves. That's like a 90 degree corner there. Which that itself looks fairly okay. Who am I trying to kid with this? Who am I legit trying to kid with this? How terrible does that look? It looks shocking. Right guys, forget it. It is literally the worst decision I have ever made in the history of this game, is trying to build this road. Why, why am I finding this so difficult? No idea. Right, okay. We'll have our own road come off. Right. Let's go back by one. Right, that looks a little bit more natural. We'll just use the move it tool to slightly adjust. Yeah, that looks ten times more natural. It's quite cool as it comes off the edge like that. We've now got our water line kind of rising too, which is good. I like it. How are we doing over here, by the way? Right, we could actually get away with rising it a little bit more in that area. And that solves that issue of all, like, infinite water. Nice. Okay. So this one area here, then, like I uh, pretty kind of mentioned earlier, I want it to kind of uh, be all in industry. So if I went full connect like that, have it quite fluid. Is that the perfect line off? Yes. Have that one run down. Come on, boy. Well, it's free plastic, so I don't like these snapping grids now. Oh, come on. Don't even do that to me. We'll go like that then. It creates a cool little pattern. I do semi like it. So might as well get a load of water connections up on there now then. So it's only gonna be like basic industry for now as I connect up a few different things like, um, what do we need? We need the, the little port now kind of linked over. So move that, which will add that there. Nice. And then we get the road hooked up to it. Just like that. Does that have the water? Yep. Let's get the power. Yep. So let's get some very basic industry now in. Well, I won't design the whole thing because, of course, we want to see how things go. That's pretty much how we want it to go to begin with. That's how we want it to go to begin with then. So how is the water source looking over here? Let's see. So we've got loads of water available. We'll just keep it as it is for now and when we kind of uh, go, we'll see what happens. Now another area that I kind of want to 
tackle and challenge then is the fact that it's going to have some industry going to create some high demand traffic but it's quite a big area over here so we need to think about the, the connections to the highway now we've got one setup already which is a pretty basic one now the next one is going to be this one it has doesn't have a very high demand traffic uh, on it but we have four routes coming off it adding a fifth is going to be very difficult in terms of just having space to do it let alone having the extra additional traffic using it as well so we need to change up the whole of this to be able to create that fifth connection. Now the main majority of traffic being used is coming down here and then going that way. So I want to kind of change the whole approach here. We have a lot of traffic that comes down here and goes round. So it's pretty much either going that direction or that direction. So we need to kind of change everything up. Now, I thought about something really, really cool I could do. So if I get rid of all of that to that point, and we're going to create something quite unique. So as it, we're going to have the curves and auto place it in that side. So as it comes round like this, we're going to bridge it up. And then we, now how high do I make it? This is a question. I'm not too sure how high I make this. So if I put it to there. Right, I've gone too far in. Let me Let me go back a bit. We're looking at it from this angle. It should be a lot easier. So we'll bring it to there. Alright, that creates that connection like that. Now, is that too high? Probably. But I'll use the move it tool to reduce it down as and when we need it. So then what would happen is, if traffic was now coming down here, it's got a straight direction to go down there, and it's pretty fine. Any other traffic comes to the roundabout that also wants to go in this direction, we have to create a smooth connection now for it. So we could create something that kind of comes off here. If I bring it up by one, now this is where the move it tool needs to come into play. So let's turn it back around here then. So let's bring that down, which I can then bring this all down, which I'm hoping I can create some form of connection now to this, which is not going to let me. So it's probably best if I delete that. Oh, I'm on the wrong highway here. So at this point, we pretty much on this level playing field and it drops down to there All right, let's, let's delete this I'm trying to find the perfect way to connect it maybe I need to bring it down a little bit earlier Right, you know what? We'll keep it all at one level. Right, so that goes to there. And bring that to there, which then connects up. And that creates that basic. I'm going to use the move it, move it tool to make it all look a little bit more perfect and kind of like in an orderly fashion. But that's pretty much how you want it to go. Now, that then solves traffic going from this direction over there, which is the most heavy amount of traffic is going. Any traffic from any, any other direction can now connect up and go down to there. That works fine. I now need to get them all connected up from this route going to any other direction that way. And that's really easy to do. Because again, what I can do here, if I just do my list of them bridges, place it down ourselves here, and I hook it up there, you just create then a little two lane highway. Come enough, but it won't obviously, of course, let me. So we move it all over slightly. Right, 
it's going to really, really, really make me work for this, isn't it? Right, bring that round slightly. There we go. And of course, that connects to there. So let's use the moving tool then just to kind of, uh, you know, filter this a little bit better. So we can now bring it all back in. Right, good, 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 good. Oh, God. <laughs> well, let's bring that up a bit. This whole connection here has gone terribly wrong, hasn't it? How does that look? Why is that going all bumpy? <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm trying to raise it when it all flops about. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's get this little, raise this up a bit there. That will solve a few issues there. It's also, I've just realized, it's also a two, is that a two-way lane? It is, isn't it? Is that two-way highway? It is. Right, two lane. Let me upgrade that. There we go. Just realized what was going on there. Okay, so bring this down a bit. Right, sweet. Right, that does what I now want it to do. So it then means, what then that pretty much then means for us is, if I uh, bring this up slightly. All right, I'm trying to create this really good connection. All right, that does that we gotta do. Okay, so what this means for us then is, we're eventually going to have a road. Bring that down to there. We're going to actually have a road that comes directly down here, which is going to be like the generic, you know, big boy road that we use all the time. So that's going to come down like this. So we'll use this as like a, like a marker point. And obviously we need this to go into various directions as well. So... How would we then approach this? Well, how we would do it is, because now we have smaller connections for it, so as that connection comes off there, and that connection goes into there, we can do something as pretty much simple as this. So we have, and it's probably worth now actually deleting them to there, and creating our own, which is going to have to kind of go semi underneath it so if I do like that it looks a little bit weird oh I need to use the move it tool just place that there for now who would have thought creating this would have been so difficult Oh, it would have worked in when I had it in the first place there, wouldn't it? Right, so that little squiggle there hopefully does what I want it to do. So that even goes in two directions there. Which looks a little bit weird, doesn't it? Now I'm going to try and figure out a way to connect, connect it up, which is not going to work perfect at all. So let's move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. So what we'll do then There we go And of course we need to then hook one up this way So we could do something as again Not as basic and as simple as what we've just pre previously done But we could have that come round 
and have some form of a bend. And then we hook this up to that way. It's not perfect. But what it does ultimately is create that connection. So if they're coming this way, they go down there. And if you want to go that way, it works fine. We'll see how that, you know, ultimately plays out. That's a very, 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 very awkward and weird connection. But it adds, as always, guys, a little bit of character to the city. So we'll see how it plays out then. We see how that plays out. Vehicles are now going to come down. Oh, I need to get. <laughs> I need to get this back in, don't I? Right, move it. There we go. So, how are they finding this bit? Because this is going to be quite heavily used. This bit here, isn't it? And it doesn't look like it's going too well at all. So let's get rid of that. That doesn't like it's going too well at all. Alright, that's how you want it to be connected. And will that play out? Only time will tell, right? I suppose only time will legit tell. Okay, right. It is what it is. It literally it is what it is. <laughs> we start to get a few little factories built up here now, which is looking really, really good. And we should get some roads in. So some basic and plain, simple roads. We need a lot of commercial. It's going to be all low res like residential over here. Let's actually connect this road up first. So what I'd want, eventually want in this area is a is like almost like a brand new area to the city, a brand new hub and whatnot. Uh, when I say hub, I mean like a like bus hub area. Uh, great transport links as well with the train and the subway systems. They're the kind of things that I'm going to eventually want to have in this area. Now, this is not perfect. This is probably something that I'll probably look back at after this episode and go, I completely hate this whole intersection and I'll do some dramatic changes to fix it. I probably will. That's probably what I'll get set up eventually because the more I look at it, it is literally horrendous, isn't it? It is horrendous. You know what I do? Why don't we take a nice little five minute break, come back in just a moment and see what I've came up with. It's probably going to be ten times better. We'll see what okay, happens. there we go. I feel like this is ten times better. It's quite a cool pattern too. So we've got the main highway going straight over and connecting up like always. And I think it would be a little bit better also. Make that a little bit straighter. Um, it also now comes down, connects to the roundabout, goes in other directions. And if you wanted to go down it, you can connect down here and go back up there and so on and so on. It goes now in all different directions and it's quite a cool little design. So you guys kind of realises I had to kind of do a, a crossover here because the road's on different sides. It's quite hilarious, but I feel like it's worked out for the best and we'll see how things then go with that. So, now we've pretty much got that set up and we it's all hooked up and linked up and we've now got uh, our first little bits of industry coming in. Let's start to work out how we want to do the grid wise then. So I probably won't be able to get the majority of all this all in today so we can progress in coming episodes anyway. But for the most part we can do, we pretty much do what we can do. So I still want to leave spaces for uh, transport and I'm feeling the best thing to do about that is if I create a little grid on there if I create this little section there we'll leave this space in here open up for our bus transport depot the brand new one and then we'll kind of build from it so we can have a I'm gonna try and work this out now the spacing close but no cigar there we go 
So we'll have this pretty much go up to about here and cut in. So I bring that up by one. And I'll have it go to about there. Also have that cut in, and that is pretty much the spacing we're going to have for this area. So does that play out now, going all the way across, cut in there. So we'll leave that as that then, a nice little staggered little section, which I kind of really like that. And that'll be one slight area set up there, we'll have some commercial through the middle parts there. We'll have this run through it. And how would this one look run, like run through it as well? Can I get away with that? I feel like I can for the most part. Now, in terms of this connection. There we go. Perfect. I love it when you get your first time done. Little zoned out areas. Cross. Looking nice. So do I want to try and keep a little bit off these areas? So I don't have too many connections. I have an idea of how I can do that, but I just want to see how it plays out. Well, that's as good as we're going to get this one here. So what I mean by it is we've got so many little interchanges and little sections there. So what if I got rid of this one, this one, and this one? And in place did something like this now what that does it keeps the majority of the traffic off the main area road like this one here and that one so it's not high traffic did that one should be fine so there's only too many buildings on it there and creates that nice little kind of loop how would this look I mean, it's not amazing. It's just more the fact that that's not central, is it? So, why don't we make it central, Seniac? Uh, good point. <laughs> good point. <laughs> right, okay, so, going across 64. So, it's about here. And that whole there section then becomes central. Nice! And then we'll do a few little cool things here. Now that's going to be quite, again, a heavy sea traffic area as you can now see. Because they are using the cargo section there, which is quite cool. So we'll have the road come up to there. But I'll have it bend round. Like that. Not bad. There we go. So I'm trying to keep as much... Oh, that's going to cause a few issues, isn't it? I'm trying to keep as much traffic off these main roads as possible. That's kind of the gist I'm trying to go with it. Now, when it comes to the cargo terminal for that train there, that's going to be something that I, I want kind of down here. So, we'll eventually have, obviously, this running down to a certain area. But then this is going to be this kind of the same. So, what we'll do, go to the train tracks, the cargo train terminal. And I could fill it into something like there. So, we'll make a nice little road to slightly appear, right? Now there or there, we'll go for this side. There we go. So you might be thinking, oh, it looks a little bit weird, but I can create like a cliffhanger over the edge there and keep this whole area solely down to, um, what do you call it? The industry that we've got it set up to be. So this now, as soon as I can make it go underground, the better. My only issue now is the fact that because it's underground, 
It is not going to play ball with me. So I need to make it go underground for longer, don't I? Yep, there we go. So where do I connect? Do I connect to this grid here or connect it over there? Either way, I'm taking a wide berth. It's probably best if I connect it up to over here. I hate it when it does stuff like that. I literally hate it when it does that type of connection. It's so annoying, isn't it? There we go. And I could then... If you're allowing me... See what I mean? There was no need for that type of connection. <laughs> There was no need at all. There we go. Oh, for real? I didn't even see that one happen. When did that one happen? There we go. So with all those little connections added up there, we got a nice little section in there. We could do something pretty cool with this. Uh, play around with it and whatnot. Well, we can have like a road coming off to there. Well, we'll make it go up to here and then run slightly parallel. But of course, we create it as a, a, as a curvature. So it just kind of ties in with the whole theme of it. Right. So it needs water. Of course, it's going to need some power, which I cannot actually even squeeze in. Oh, wait, is that a water one? There we go. Has a little bit of power now. Nice. And, um, yeah, it's coming together. So, main problems and issues we're going to have then is with the traffic here. So, what I could say to this is, is this is can, can only be an outlet road. So, it forces every car then to come up here and down in this direction. So let's try that. Force this to be an outlet road. So by doing that, it means all traffic going this direction is filtered like that. Um, what seems to be the issue here then? So we need to get vehicles. So we tell this one here, it's going to cross there. And that is allowed to go in both directions. That should keep that traffic flowing. We'll get rid of traffic lights on this point. I'm basically going to say that, yeah, you know what, then the lanes actually there are set up pretty fine. That should keep those flowing as well. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to remove traffic lights on this area as well, because I know this is going to be very, very heavy to, you know, hev heavily tra um, trafficked. I can't even speak English right now. What is going on with me? Uh, for these basic areas. So we'll see how that flies. And is it worth... Is it worth... Turning this here... as a one-way outlet road there to force all the trucks coming either to this cargo harbour here or terminal to go along here, down here, and then out in that direction. Is it worth doing that? Probably. Now, with that said, am I able to upgrade every single... No, I can't upgrade every single road there to that two-lane one, but we'll see how the traffic goes. Ultimately... It should have, or let me connect this little gap that I've now made. Ultimately, what it should have now done then is give us less traffic, which visibly, there doesn't look like there's that much more traffic in this area. It's gone down slightly, and that's because a lot of them are using this area. 
Now, this is interesting because we're getting quite a bit of a build up on this road, too. So, there's got to be ways in which I could solve this. There's got to be ways. Hmm. Many different ways in which I could actually physically do this. And it's more the fact that we need to solve the traffic issue here. So, a lot of the vehicles just want to go straight on. So it might be best creating a connection that goes straight on like underground passages or make it go as it is right there and create like a basic turn off for each direction. Go with the way forward, but that's something I'll play around with next episode. Then. So it's been quite a long one. Uh, there's not much that we actually physically got done this episode, believe it or not. It doesn't feel like we made much progress, but we kind of set ourselves up for the future. We solved quite a few little problems. One, the water one, which at the moment is no issue. These ones are not really sucking water up, but we can rise that when we need it. We do have a slight little sewage issue right now, but that can be solved with a few extra plants. Not a problemo at all. Uh, we've now got this area configured and given a basic layout to how we really want things. And there's a lot that's going to actually go into this then. So in the comment section down below right now, I want to know, guys, next episode, should I continue to focus on this area or would you like me to build our very own theme park? What should we go for the next episode? Um, we kind of solved this issue a little bit. This is now flowing nicely. It just now means we got an issue over here, which doesn't look like an issue right now, which is kind of cool again. But again, we'll just see how things go. We will see how things go. Really, you just got to give it time to like slowly roll out. I do have to take into account that this is a brand new area being built up. So we're going to have quite a lot of high traffic to begin with. But you can see as trucks come out, it just messes up the whole situation over here. So we need to sort something out pronto for this because it's not going to go well at all. We'll see how things fly anyway. There's always ways to do it. We did something very similar. It's like it could need one of these connections. You know, something like this could always work out. Not like that, but like how a road goes through the middle and everyone goes round the roundabout on top of it. That could solve those issues. I'm trying to think where else we had an issue like that and we solved it. There we go. It, as, that's a perfect, you know, example there. And I feel like we solved this issue somewhere else. That's a really good connection we could use too. There we go. It's not a massive a major connection. But that does, you know, something eventually what we need there. And we'll focus on that at some point. Might even like look towards getting it done uh, for next episode anyway. But everything's looking pretty good. We've still got a few dips here. It's not as big as the original dips, but they are dips none the least. Now if I back into the water, I feel like it's because... Do you know what? There's no dips in the water now. So I feel like... It's just taking a while to solve itself out, like to sort itself out, the dips. I feel like them issues are now, you know, kind of ironed out because we had dips appear before. We're not getting them no more. So just because, they, you know, because of where we are in the city build, the game does run slow at this point. So you don't, things don't happen as quick as they used to. Which is a shame, but, you know, it's going to give it time. You've literally just got to give it time. So we've got quite a bit of demand now for residential and commercial. So that will fill up this area quite nicely. I'm quite excited for it. I want to get a little bus terminal in here too at some point. Set up some more subway systems and get this place rocking and rolling. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.